me see that. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Shadrack Webb and welcome to today's video. So, I figured since I work in a grocery store so much, why not talk about the working in a grocery store? So I walked around and I asked a few of my coworkers some things they had about working in a grocery store and there seemed to be a few common things that even I agree with. So I went ahead and made my five things that suck the most about working in a grocery store. Now to make this clear, I'm not saying working in a grocery store sucks and it's the worst job ever. I'm not saying that. I actually appreciate the job and the experience that I had. But there are five very obvious things that people hate about working in the grocery store. So let's go ahead and get into reason number one. The first reason why working in a grocery store sucks is the inconsistency of time and scheduling. You know, sometimes you'll get about 40 hours a week, sometimes you get 32 hours a week, sometimes you get 34, sometimes you get 24, sometimes you get 16. It really is random. And not only is that part random, but the days of the week is random. Sometimes you work Monday through Friday, sometimes you work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and have one day off. It just, it's completely random and I know nobody likes this because it makes scheduling stuff outside of work very difficult because you really only know a week in advance of what your schedule is going to be like and even then it's still hard because everybody else's schedule is different than yours. Say you have a practice every Wednesday at 5. Well now that's not going to happen because you might work 11 to 7.30 on Wednesday. It's, it's just really random. So reason number two why working in a grocery store sucks is Repetition, the repetitive acts of doing things. Now, I put this into three categories. The first category is the music. Now this, I know for a fact that many people who work in grocery will agree with. We listen to the same freaking music over and over and over and over again. Like, can we not have more than one CD or playlist made? No, no. I mean, there, there's only so many times you can listen to Bon Jovi living on a prayer to the point where it's not even fucking awesome no more. It's just annoying. The second category to repetition is the words. And what I mean by the words is you say the same things, same sentences, same questions throughout the day so many times and you do this every single day you work. Questions like, are you finding anything okay? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Check paper or plastic? Would you like your meat in a separate bag? No, it gets to a point where it starts driving you a little fucking crazy. The third category in repetition would be the work itself. And I've worked in a few different departments at my job in the grocery store I work in. And no matter where you're at, it's, it's the same task over and over and over and over again. And what blows my mind is in some of these areas, people have been doing it for decades or a decade. I've been doing it for like a few weeks, maybe a year, and it's it's driving me crazy. Like it's <sighs> how do you I don't know, it's <laughs> the third reason why working in a grocery store sucks is customer service. Now, it's not really that bad with certain people. It's actually, as a matter of fact, it's pretty easy. But there are some customers that just want to make things as complicated as possible and be annoying as possible. You know, you gotta also factor in things like you're tired you're hungry, you're sick, or whatever, you have to put on a mask. And you have to look at these customers and say, oh yeah, yeah I can do that for you, yeah. have a good day, you know. It's so hard to be fake with people, I'm not even gonna lie, and it takes a lot of effort, lots of effort. The fourth reason why working in a grocery store sucks is the cleaning. Now I've also put this in two categories. The first category is just like regular cleaning, kind of like just repetitive tasks, but it gets kind of tedious cleaning the same things over and over again, doing the same same routine, but I mean, it keeps the store clean, so that's, that's fine, I guess. I, I get that, you know, dusting, whatever. But the second category is where it gets really annoying and gross. Now, I've had to deal with this, but not too bad with certain extent with certain people. So ready? People drop like milks, pickles, stuff like that. I, that's totally fine. I'll pick that stuff up all the time. But where it gets really nasty is in the bathrooms. It blows my mind what people can do to a freaking bathroom, yo. You're talking about plunging ma like massive amount of shit out of toilets. You're talking about shit on the floor, shit on the wall, shit all over the fucking seats. Just anything you can think of has happened in that bathroom. And it's disgusting. Like, I was even hearing a story from somebody that there was blood everywhere in the woman's bathroom. Excuse me, but say I'm a woman, I need to go fucking pee. I run in that bathroom and I see blood everywhere. Do you think I wanna go pee in there? No. Do you think somebody wants to clean that up? No. 
But for me, luckily, I never really had to deal with any of these kind of problems because I'll tell you a story real quick. <laughs> I remember one time I was right next to the bathrooms. Can't remember what I was doing, but this guy comes out and he goes, Hey, yo, you got, you got a situation in the bathroom. I kind of looked at him like, what do you mean? I open the door, look in there. There's a fucking shit just chilling on the floor. It's, and here's the thing about the shit on the floor is it was right next to the urinal and you can see somebody was trying to shit in the urinal because you can see the streak of it like on the bottom edge of it kind of like okay so here's like here's the cup you know right you know just pretend it's the cup and this is the edge it was like there was like this slime part here and like it was on the ground and I walk in there and I, you just smell shit and I'm just like okay okay hold up I backed up I was like I'm not cleaning this up and I've always dodged these type of situations because this ain't the first time so I remember I walked down to a further check stand and I was working 5 to 9 this night I think and there's somebody who's 6 to 10 and the 6 to 10 person is supposed to clean the bathrooms so I remember I walked down to this person and I was like hey uh you gotta have you checked the bathrooms yet and they go no and I'm like you probably should I heard somebody said there wasn't towels or toilet paper or something <laughs> they walk in there and he's like dude I was like you're the last one to see it and the one last one to step in that bathroom it's your problem now not mine and just started laughing and this fool was just gagging and he was going like what the fuck he had gloves on he's like I don't even know what to do should I, should, should I slosh some water on it oh my god that was funny you know working at a grocery store there's some really interesting situations and I'm not talking about just shit on the floor I'm just talking about this the most random stuff happens in funny situations but this is definitely something that was really funny is <laughs> I tricked this guy into cleaning this up and he was just having a horrible time we were both laughing though cuz it was just random somebody was trying to shit in the urinal and miss and hit the ground I don't know yo okay the fifth reason why working in a grocery store sucks is the effort you know it takes a lot of energy and power to wake up and go to a place that literally just sucks your energy, your soul, and your drive. You kind of just slave at this place. And it does take effort, believe it or not, in a grocery store because you have to deal with people, you have to bag items, you have to uh, pe please people, you have to please your management, you have to be nice to people. <sighs> you know how it is at a job. If you have a job, you know what it's like having to put effort into your job. It's ridiculous. It, when you're putting effort into something that's not your passion, it just, it literally just eats your soul because it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Sometimes it's fun. Working in a grocery store, there is some unique situations and I will have some story times in the future talking about the grocery store because I mean this when I say that there is some interesting shit that happens in a grocery store. You will not believe some of the stories I have. I. For the longest time, because I've been working there for almost two years, right? It took me over like over a year, I think, to actually start writing these things down. Because there's certain situations I just didn't want to forget anymore. Because it was just funny. I wanted to talk about it. Expect some grocery horror story customer story times in the future. Or something along that kind of story. Because I really have some funny stories I want to share. This is this idea here, 5 Reasons Why Working in a Grocery Store Sucks, was an idea I had a while ago. And I'm just now kind of picking it up here a month later. And I kind of just want to make this video. Especially because... You know, I've been watching all these other YouTubers and they kind of just sit down and talk in front of the camera. They don't really put any like cinematography or anything in their videos, which I feel like I had to, but I guess I really don't. I could just talk to the camera and have other videos where I show off my camera skills. But I just really want to talk to the camera and just I wanted to expose and relate to other people who work in the grocery world or even retail about what sucks the most about working in a grocery store. And I know for a fact a lot of people knowing that there are many 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 grocery workers across the United States that would agree on these five reasons why working in a grocery store sucks you know repetition that's a big one it drives you freaking nuts inconsistent schedule and times that drives me nuts customer service having to fake and be around these people drives you nuts cleaning up after people drives you freaking nuts and putting the effort drives you nuts. My name is Shadrach Webb and thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I'm waiting. I, I mean, when I say subscribe, I want you to click the button, please. 
Thank you. Th thank you. Alrighty. I'll see you guys in the next video. I have many, many ideas and and things that I have planned for this YouTube channel and I and story times and adventures. So go ahead and stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.